What is up YouTube, everything in pan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 10 in VirtualBox. This is not the preview version like my uh, last tutorial, this is the full Windows 10 version, completely legal. Um, you're getting the actual ISO from the Microsoft website, so it is absolutely 100% legal. Um, so, and you can actually, if you guys are still stuck on Windows 8 or Windows 7 and you want to upgrade to Windows 10 and you don't want to wait weeks for that you know that little icon in your bottom right corner um, to actually tell you when the downloads ready you can actually get it right now if you wanted to so let's go ahead and begin the tutorial um, first of all if you don't have VirtualBox you need to grab that um, you can also do VMware but I prefer VirtualBox myself um, that'll be the first link and the second link or no the yeah, the second link in the description is going to be the website link to get uh, the actual ISO. And it's actually from Microsoft. You can see it right here. And you uh, scroll down to the bottom here where it says Download Tool Now. You can either do the 32 or 64-bit version. In my opinion, or not my opinion, in my situation here, I'm going to be doing 64-bit. And then since I'm using Edge, it's going to download it automatically. And I guess it saved it too. And then you want to just run it. And then, I don't, you guys probably can't see this, but a user con account control window will pop up. Just hit yes. And then, a window, it takes, sometimes it takes a bit. There you go, a window will pop up. So you have uh, two options here. You can upgrade this PC now if you're using Windows 8 or Windows 7. You can upgrade it now to Windows 10, but I've already done that. Or you can create installation media for another PC. And since you want to do, if you um, are one of these people that want to do it in a virtual machine, you want to hit this option right here. So go ahead and hit um, next. You can also, I mean, you can upgrade if you want, but then you need to select your language. I'm going to select English United States. And then select your edition. You can either do home or pro, or there's a couple different other options here. I'm going to do pro and 64 bits architecture. And then you hit next. And then you have a couple options here. You can create a flash drive if you want. Like if you want to install it on somebody else's computer, you can do that. Or you can uh, save a ISO file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to save it to my specified location. Okay, so once you find your location you want to save it to, and I also renamed it to Windows 10 Pro 64-bit, uh, you want to uh, save it there, and it's going to download Windows 10. It's going to download that ISO for you. So this could take some time depending on your uh, internet connection speed, how fast that is. It also could depend on how fast your computer is too. So um, this is going to take some time. It says feel free to keep using your PC, and you can do so. So I'm going to wait for this to get done, and I'll be back with you guys once it is either close to being done or it is finished. Okay, so after the uh, download progress will be finished, now it's going to verify your download. So this could take some time as well. And then once your verifying download is finished, um, it should take you to another screen. So I'm going to let this sit again. And I'll be back with you guys once... Uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Um, so that goes actually fairly quickly. And then it's going to create Windows 10 Media. So, I'm actually going to check and see if the ISO ended up saving already. Unless maybe, I'm sure this probably ends up giving you the... No, so it's not there yet. So, this could take some time, so I'll be back with you guys once uh, this is finished. Alright, so it's at 100%. Now we're going to see what happens next. This is on the creating Windows 10 media stage. And there we go. It says burn the ISO file to a DVD. And it says make sure you have the product key when you're ready to install. And uh, it tells you the uh, file location in which you saved it to. So if you click it, it'll show you that it's saved right there. It's about, what is it, looks like 3 gigs. I don't know how big this is. This 3.1 gigs. So. There is your ISO. Now you hit finish and then that goes away and now you can install it on a virtual machine. So go ahead and hit new and then type Windows 10 
and mine is the 64-bit, so it's selected that automatically. We're going to leave that at the default of 2 gigs of RAM and create a virtual hard drive. And then we're going to hit settings and storage and then hit the disk and then find where you saved your uh, Windows 10 ISO, which mine is right here. Hit open and then OK. And then go ahead and hit start. It'll launch your machine. It'll give you the uh, loading screen, pretty much, of uh, Windows 10. Uh, all these look pretty much very similar um, to, like, Windows 8. The boot up screen is like this, so it's pretty much similar to Windows 8, if you think about it. So... Sometimes it's probably going to take longer, obviously, since it's in a virtual machine, um, and it's only this virtual machine only has two gigs of RAM, so obviously this is going to take longer. So it may be a bit. So let me back up with you guys uh, once we get to the uh, first part of the setup. Okay, so we have hit the uh, first part of the setup here, and it even says copyright 2015. And that's how you know that it's Windows 10. So this is where you select your language and keyboard input. And mine's already set to what I need to, so hit next and install now. Setup is starting. It's the normal basic stuff you've seen before. So it's going to ask you for a product key. Um, if you have one, like if you're actually installing this on your actual computer, you would want to enter that in now, but since I don't have a product key, I'm just going to hit skip. And then you're going to accept the terms. This is last updated last month, July. And then you're going to do the custom and then hit next. And then you're going to go through the normal installation of copying files, getting ready for uh, getting files ready for installation, installing features, installing updates, and finishing up. So this part usually takes the longest. Um, and I believe it restarts either once or twice during this whole setup process. So. We're going to go ahead and let this run, and I'll be back with you guys once we hit the first restart point. Alright, so we've hit our first restart point, so we're going to go ahead and restart now, obviously. And do not press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Just let it go. It's going to come up with the uh, boot logo again. With the spinning circle this time. And then it's will continue the setup pretty much so it'll end up going where it left off like the normal Windows 8 setup, Windows 7 setup, all those good OS's so um, just go ahead and let this uh, go through because um, it'll continue with the setup and I'll be back with you guys once we hit the uh, second restart point Okay, so it's actually going to do getting devices ready, then getting ready. And then it should get you, hopefully, to another screen. Obviously, this takes longer because, you know, it's a virtual machine. And um, if you have a powerful computer, it's obviously going to go a lot quicker than what it is right now. It's been taking uh, about two, three minutes ever since the first restart point to get to this point. So... It's still at the getting ready with the circle. So this, uh, depending on how much uh, RAM maybe you gave that your machine, it may uh, depend on how um, it may depend on how much you've given it um, for how long this would take. So it may take a long time and it may take a short amount of time. Just depends. So I'll be back with you guys um, once we hit a uh, next screen. Okay, so you're gonna hit this screen after uh, the setup is finished it's going to say it's time to enter your, in your product key um, you can just hit do this later if you don't have a product key then you want to just hit and use express settings or you can customize them if you want but I just usually do express it'll say just a moment I think it has a network driver installed, so you could use a Microsoft account on this if you want. But, 
we'll take a look and see what happens. Sometimes this can uh, take some time. Okay, so this screen will pop up after the just a moment um, is finished. It'll ask you who owns this PC. It'll ask you if it's for an organization or for home use. Mine's obviously going to be for home use. And then you can um, do your Microsoft account. But I'm just going to go ahead and skip that since I'm not going to be using this for anything. So I'm just going to do everything epan, I believe. No, you do not have to type in a password. It'll say just a moment yet again. And then you'll get to the normal um, setting up screen where it'll say, hi, we're setting things up for you. And then you'll get a you'll get a screen that pops up like this, and it'll have a blue background the whole time. It doesn't change colors. It says this won't take long. It's setting up your apps. So this actually does not take as long as you would think. Like with the Windows 8, this would take a long time. So um, even though this does take maybe a minute or two, I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be back once we get to... Uh, once this is finished. Okay, so it'll say um, let's start, but before that it'll be like it'll say taking care of a few things and it'll say just a few more tweaks or something like that. And it'll take you to the desktop and you have just successfully installed Windows 10 in VirtualBox. You see this is the actual interface. Um, you see it uh, has Cortana and it has the brand new start menu. So there is Windows 10 in VirtualBox, and that is my video tutorial on how to install Windows 10 in VirtualBox. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials. Um, like this video if it helped you out and share it so that it can help other, people's, help other people out if they want to install Windows 10. And um, subscribe if you want to see some more tutorials in the future. And also comment below if you, want, if you suggest any tutorials you want me to do. So uh, that is my uh, tutorial on how to install Windows 10 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.